what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jonathan Kim, here. Welcome to you to another episode of Soglock. Hopefully, y'all are having a wonderful day. Um, I'm a little bit quiet on the quieter end today, um, as I say, as I try and speak louder. <laughs> but um, let me know if you can hear me better. I tried to adjust some microphone settings and uh, some stuffs and things. and If you can hear me better, that's a good thing. I turned up the gain, uh, but I don't know if turning up the gain is going to help with, like, things sounding louder than they were so anyway let me know hopefully they are better um and yeah let's get on to the episode today our episode consists of victory road so i'm definitely not a nervous nelly at all um <laughs> i'm definitely totally okay with the situation that we're presented with right now but yeah so today we're gonna try and finish all the victory road and yeah, I, I'm very nervous. We have to keep Barry with us for Victory Road. So I had to say goodbye to Venusaur for a minute because, I mean, like, yeah, HMs, though, like, they're super important in this Victory Road. You need a lot of them. I think you need, like, Surf, Waterfall, Strength, yada, yada, yada. Um, which is kind of ridiculous, in my opinion, that you need all that. But anyway, so it's kind of, like, my brain just does not compute that. But today, I did a lot of kind of fun chilling. So I have a lot of days off because my work doesn't want me working as much as I have been lately. Because I've been working like a lot, a lot, a lot. And due to the fact that I work a lot, my system at work literally forced me to take days off. And I'm like, bro, what the heck? Like, I was so confused. I was like, I don't remember ever taking this weekend off um at all and i just did so i was like and it's like it's give me the weekend off so i was like okay so clearly i've been working too much and that's what it is because i'm still part-time associate technically with my employer so which you guys already know but it's fine so because i'm a part-time associate right i'm only supposed to be working like 20 uh 26 and a half hours a week or whatever i don't i work like 35 33 to 35 hours a week at this point and so yeah the system got mad at me so i had to read i had to take the day off so <laughs> it was weird because my body is like you have the day off while you're still waking up at like nine o'clock and yeah you gotta so i fell asleep again and i was like oh so when i fell asleep again i did not wake up until like 12 17 it's totally fine it's okay it's a it, no it was more like 11 something i think it was like 11 40 or something but still way too late for my own good so it was just like crazy because when i woke up and i was like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. because i had an alarm set for 10 30 or whatever i separate through that thing that thing was gone and it's just like i don't know how you guys do that like how we as humans just sleep through alarms like that because I swear, I set, like, five alarms, like, and I still miserably fail. Okay, I'm not catching this. This is level 12. Who in the heck would use it? It's fine. There's no reason to catch it. Uh, but, yeah, I just never understood that. And it's just kind of... Wait. Oh, no, we still need Barry, right? I think we, st I think we still are going to need Barry. Because I think there's a waterfall in this victory road that you climb or you go up and over. Unless... That's in Diamond. Oh, God. I don't remember this Victory Road. Even though this is the Victory Road that painstakingly killed me. Um, I just don't remember it at all. So, it's fine. We're okay. Uh, so, but I can't use Barry at all in fights, as you know. Um, but, yeah. I'm definitely nervous for this. This is, this is a nerve-wracking situation, to say the least. Because this is the episode before the Elite Four. And I just don't know how far we're going to get. I'm definitely going to keep Arm and Sammy as my two Mons in the front, though. So, I think Sammy's 48. Yeah, so I'm definitely... I'm going to switch Arm into the front. Only because... Well, Arm's higher level. Uh, that's literally it. So, Victory Road. Our encounter is... We don't have a Master Ball, so hopefully we can catch this. I'm a star. Yeah, no. Bye. Don't even care. I feel so bad that I just don't care about my encounters right now. But it's not, we're at that point in the game where, like... Does it necessarily matter? No. So, why would I care? <laughs> Is... Bruh. Um... So, they're level 51s. Crap. I am not adequately trained. I might have to, uh... 
Make a quick cut and train. That might actually happen. Okay. Because I'm definitely not adequately prepared for this. Uh, although I do know what Venusaur has. It's got Needle Arm, Sludge. So Needle Arm is going to be what it hits me with. For sure. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that's what it's going to hit me with. Oh no, Sludge. Why? That makes no sense to me. Like, why would you hit me with Sludge right there? Speaking of, I've literally got Sludge Bomb. That's super effective, John. Or no, that's not. I don't think that's super effective. No, it's not. Okay, but that's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. So, I get that this girl literally only had one Mon. And it's fine because she had one Mon. But... Yeah, we are not ready for this. So, I'm going to go ahead and train our team to level 52 across the board. Um, because I think that that's honestly a fair judgment of level. So, yeah. When you come back, our team's going to be level 52 across the board. Um, because, yeah, we're definitely, we definitely ain't ready for <laughs> this whatsoever. So, yeah. Anyway, be right back. Okay! Okay, we should be okay. We should be fine in D&D. Let's get this finished up and all ready. So, again, sorry. This is, like, so many hours later because things were going on. I was taking care of things um, that you guys would have already seen. So, I'm not even going to talk about it. It's fine. But, yeah. So, <laughs> it's just kind of crazy. I don't even know where I left off. So, this is going to be such a weird break. But, it's fine. We're chill. It's okay. We got the team painted level 52. That is all that really matters at the moment. But... It is very crazy when you look at all of this stuff and all of, you know, the series in general and, like, just, it's crazy. But, yeah, I love this. Like, I just love this. Like, it's, it sucks. Okay, so, I'm trying to recover myself, which is not really working very well, but it's fine. Uh, but I guess I can talk about something I started. Um, I started a tickety- Oh! That would have been bad. I started a TikTok the other day. Uh, which, by the other day, I mean, like, a week ago at this point. Um, and it's very interesting to me that or how it works. I don't, I still haven't quite understood how it works. But uh, apparently I'm doing okay because both of my TikToks have 500 views. Which is crazy because that's, like, more than I've ever gotten on YouTube consistently. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to figure out how it works, but it's just not working the way I want it to, because it's just like, uh, how do, like, I should know how it works, but I just have, like, not put two and two together. Oh no, please tell me the mod I took with me. Crap. I think the mod I took with me is the mod I taught strength. Uh, I'm so sad. Why did Barry have to devolve to this? Like, uh, this is sad. I loved Barry a lot. And now Barry just devolves to this. It's actually such a sad fall, too. From my most beloved Pokemon to the Mon that I have to use for HMs. It's just... Yeah, that's very, very sad. But there's nothing I can do about it, so it's... But anyway, back to the TikTok conversation. Um, It's kind of crazy when you look at it, because, like, it's all about short-form content, right? And it is all short-form content, which makes sense. Um, So it does create, like, less videos so you can get more views quickly. Which is fine, but it does mean that the views mean less or whatever. But, like, I already have, like, a bunch of likes on my stuff. It's it's kind of weird to me that I have as much likes as I do because I don't know. It's just, like, and I know I'm talking about, like, this is, now, mind you, this is with two TikToks, by the way. This literally with 42 likes with two TikToks is insanity, in my opinion. That means I'm literally already averaging 21 likes per TikTok. Like, and if I keep that up, it's like, what? Like, I already have a TikTok plan for tomorrow. 
Um, and like, I'm not even trying to use TikTok as like a, um, like a growing platform for myself. I'm really trying to use it to like get people to the YouTube and to hang out on the YouTubes, but it's just, I don't know. It's just going in a direction I didn't think it would. Um, and it's like, of course, it's still going to be the main thing. Like TikTok's really just like, whatever, it's fun. YouTube's what I want to turn into a business um, at some point in my life, which it won't happen. Like, just let's be honest. It's not going to. Um, it's just, but again, I use it for fun to hang out with you guys and do a whole bunch of stuff. But if it turns into a thing, it turns into a thing. Whereas TikTok, I'm not really looking for it to turn into a thing. And I think that's the major difference. Personally, I think that is a major difference in the outlook of how I'm thinking about things. Because I think I think of YouTube too much of a business-like thing. Whereas I should think of YouTube as a place for fun, like I did before. Jonas and I were talking about this a little bit. Because Monthwa kind of... It destroyed both of us in a way. It was a super fun thing, right? And we still... I particularly... Um, and proud of the accomplishment, but it destroyed our way of thinking about YouTube and what made YouTube YouTube for us. Um, and I kind of was one that instilled a lot of the stuff where I was like, okay, well, this is good. This is good. Like, cause numbers are my thing. I love numbers, but you don't, if you're being on YouTube, you don't want to get into the numbers. Don't get in the nitty gritty of the numbers because they're just going to hurt you. Um, because YouTube does not do a good job at certain things, and it's numbers that you can't control. Like, the reach section. Just don't look at the reach section, honestly. If you, like, you can look at it for impression purposes, but don't look at anything else, because YouTube impression, like, impressions are, like, the thing that hurts the channel the most, and I think hurt the thinking the most, is I'm like, oh, well, YouTube isn't impressing our content, so it's not our problem, but realistically, that's not the point either, but it's so easy to misconstrue the point of that section because it's like, oh, well, YouTube isn't feeding me anything. So, like, um, not my fault when there's obviously things you can improve on to get better and do things better. But uh, it's just it gives you that excuse. Ah! Stop game. Stop triggering me. This game keeps triggering me beyond compare. And it's freaking frustrating. Like, stop throwing berries out at me. I never had berries get thrown out until I freaking lost him. Because, of course. So, now we get to be stuck in a loop of just death. Okay. But, yeah. So, it's just you, the way that you think about something changes its perceived value. Um, so, like, if you think about something in the limelight of, oh, well, I want this to be my job. So, how do I make it my job? You're not thinking about what's in the best interest for the people that you're creating for, which is a problem. It's something that needs to be changed. Um, you're trying to think of things as a business and how I can run my business effectively. When in all reality, you need a mixture of both. You need a, how can I make people happy whilst, and mind you, making people happy is number one. And like making sure that everybody loves what you're doing and like you're having fun and you're loving yourself for doing it that is number one number two whilst making people happy how can you make it a business and that's really what it is so make people happy first then do the business aspects of things because you can't do much without that you need the people to back you up and it's something that I think we kind of lost with Monthlock, and I feel terrible for like saying it. I don't, I can't talk, or I can't speak for Jonas, but I think I lost a lot of that because of Monthlock. Because I'm like, oh well, YouTube didn't do anything for Monthlock, even though it was constantly streamed, and people behind the community was behind us, and everybody was behind us, and it was such a lovely thing to have and a great feeling. But YouTube did nothing, and because YouTube did nothing, it like changed the perceived feeling of what was going on because YouTube isn't doing anything so why should I do anything because I need YouTube to serve it up to new people but like no hence the TikTok the TikTok is not there to TikTok's just to have fun and be fun and you know make some jokes here and there have a good time 
and have that bro vibe. And then, hey, if you like the content I make over here, YouTube is my primary source of content where I have fun and want to make you guys happy. And that is the new thing. That's going to be the new motto is what makes you happy, not how to get more views and subscribers. Because the how to get more views and subscribers just don't work, like honestly. Like thinking about it in that kind of a perspective is just not a good perspective to think about it. And I will be ending that thought process and the way of thinking. Because yes, you want to get more subscribers and more stuff. But you should be content and happy with where you're at. Even though where I'm at right now is a weird spot for me personally. Because I'm in this weird middle tier. Like the low tier is fine. Because you have a lot of people that you can collab with, hang out with, have fun with. But once you get to the middle tier, the people in the low tier don't appreciate you for you. They're like, oh, well, you are big, so I want to hang out and collab with you because you're big. And then the high tier people are like, well, this dude's like, not, doesn't matter because he's mid tier and like, he's not at our level. And. It does make it difficult because people don't want to collab with you because you're mid-tier. Both directions. You're in that weird spot where you have to work yourself up and get yourself into a spot that you can do something with. And it takes a lot of self-motivation. And that is something that I've been working on this year is motivation and being motivated to do stuff and be better. Um, personally. And... It's just, it, it's gonna get better. It's continuously, that's what it's there for. It's there to be better, there to improve, and that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna improve that, make the motivation to do stuff better. And, you know, I love coming up with these series that are new ideas. Like, these have been some of my best ideas ever, um, in my opinion. Like, this year, I've come up with so many awesome, cool locks that most people would not be thinking about, or, you know, like, who would ever want to attempt a 7 or eight generation series like nobody like Frank and Ryan did but they gave up we're still pursuing and you know they might give up for different reasons I'm sure they did I'm sure that there's a reason for everything because there is a reason for everything and yeah so because there's a reason for everything you know I'm not gonna flame them for you know not doing things because that's just not what I should be doing. Because it's they have their things that they're doing and have to work with and deal with. And that's just everything that is. And like we've had that those same problems in Soggy Lock too. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, we're perfect and uh yeah, nobody else is because you know, we're doing it. It's like no. We they they, they were further than this when they quit. Like, they were definitely further than this when they quit. They were in Gen 5 and 6. When they did that, when they ended up ending. So, we ain't over. And uh, we won't be, and my goal is not to be over until the series is over. Um, but, honestly, it is a very crazy situation that we are in and that we are sitting at. Um, and it only gets more insane and more crazy as we continue and go on. And it's exciting. It's lovable. And you, the improvement in content and everything else is just lovely to see um, as well. Like, we get to see how we progressed from episode one to episode end. And, I don't know. I think it will be crazy when we go forth and see everything at the end. But until we go forth and see everything at the end, I'm not going to be like, oh, we're great. We got this. <laughs> like, no, that's not that's not who I am. That's not who I've ever been. Um, Jeesh, this thing does no damage. There we go. There's the burn we were looking for. I'm going to confuse Ray because ugh, stupid full restores. Hit yourself in confusion. Hit yourself in confusion. But yeah, like, I'm not going to sit here and tell you guys that I'm, like, doing such a good job and I'm, like being the best creator I could ever be because I'm not, I'm trying to be better but it's not an easy task to get better and be better doesn't Ghost hit fighting or is it both okay Ghost does hit fighting, I thought it was I was dumb, okay oh god, the water's dripping 
Oopsies. I should not be doing this right now then. Like, the whole reason I got the water was because I was like, okay, good to have water. But then again, it was like, I got it too late because it was all iced over and stuff. And I was like, oh gosh, oh no. <laughs> so it's going to be all wet and drippy because um, of the condensation from the ice. So I should probably fix that. But, you know, who thinks about that? That, Like, why would you ever need to think about the condensation of the water? So, yeah, I definitely got to fix that. Oh, meow. I love you, Oatmeal. Victory Road. Where does this... I'm, like, trying to figure out where it all takes me. Can't escape. Did we get wrapped or something? We probably did. Ugh. Okay. I'm so lost. I should not be, because I've done this Victory Road enough times not to get lost. But, you know, here we are. It's like, usually it's just follow the trainers and you're going the right way, but apparently not. Apparently not in this case. Oh, what? Really? Bruh. That's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> Not gonna lie. That is kind of ridiculous that it does that. Okay. Okay. Sorry. I didn't... Like, you guys are probably like, Oh my god, John's failing the puzzle hard. And I'm like, yep. I totally am. Oh, all that for an item? What the... Where do I go? Oh my god, this is actually triggering. How in the world did I manage to get lost? Bruh. Because this just traps me in, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. So, what the heck? So that loops. Is it not... Don't go up the stairs, then? Is that what I did wrong? That might have been exactly what I did wrong, actually. Because I thought you needed... Yep, there it is. I thought you needed Waterfall. I freaking knew it, too. I knew you needed Waterfall, and I still didn't believe myself. Re I am terrible at trusting myself. Like, I swear. I am the worst at believing in myself. And I need to be better than that, because, like, frick, I know what I'm doing. But every time I'm like, oh my god, I don't know if I'm doing it correctly. <laughs> and it's like, Gah! you know what you're doing. Just trust yourself and everything's fine. I just never have self-confidence. And, you know, I wish I did. I do. Frick, if I had self-confidence, it made things a lot easier. But I just don't. And it's freaking, mm, it's so aggravating. And, like, it's not even attempted, like... I don't even, it's like, it's just instinctually, I just don't have any self-confidence. And it's just like, you can do a whole bunch of things. But, it's like, your brain goes, uh, I know you can do a bunch of things, but like, uh, you're not good enough. It's like, oh! <laughs> I literally want to strangle myself every time my brain's like, you're not good enough. And it's like, but like, I'm fine. It's like, mm. Makes you want to roll light. It, well, it makes you want to roll your eyes every time. Psychic type. Of course. Why would you not turn into a freaking psychic type? And why would you not have a stall move? I literally cannot switch, I don't think. I think block prevents me from switching, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I'm blocked from switching. Joy, we were talking about. We were, we were hanging out and having a good time. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're fine. We should be okay. But we were literally talking about how, what if Rhonda was the one that died? It's like, and we were, it was totally not even like in the, oh, Rhonda might die kind of a thing. It was more of a, did Rhonda die? Because Joy was concerned about Rhonda. And I was like, no, nobody died. Everything's okay. But 
If Rhonda were to have died right there, I would have been like, bruh, how in the world do we manage to do this kind of thing? Because I always am like, oh, well, nobody died yet, so it's fine. And then it's like the Pokemon that we said was going to die just dies. And it's like, of course it did. Because that just would be, that would be, that would happen. Right, and that's why I'm talking about it, because that would be the thing that happens. Are you kidding me? Bruh, how am I failing this bad? Dude, this is triggering me. Oh my god, I freaking jumped off the thing. Really? Bruh, come on. I should not be having this much of a difficult time. Gosh. I was want to do a freaking speed montage because of how bad I'm doing. Because it forces you up here. Wobbuffet. Of course it's a Wobbuffet. Marowak. That dies. And Crawdon. I lost all my confidence. I've lost that ages ago. It's fine. <laughs> we were just talking about having absolutely no self-confidence. That was perfect. Okay. Run. Sorry, I've stopped talking. I've, like, I've been... I'm just kind of too focused on trying to figure out what the frick to do. Because I've lost the entire way through that I'm supposed to go. Ugh. Did I, is this like a, just a dead end? And I just, cause it could totally be a dead end. Oh my god. I think we found it. Don't fall down. And then there should be a stair or ladder there. Yes, there it is. God! Bruh, that took way too long. I'm glad we figured it out, though. Like, at least that happened. At least we did get out, but oh my god, that took way too long. Like, bruh. Could that not have taken forever? That would have been great. Um, I don't even know who I want to lead into for this fight. Um, okay, Rhonda's basically useless. I kind of want to stay in with Aram, not even going to lie, but I'm going to bring Sammy out. Oh my god! Hi! I bet you're surprised to see me here! I made it all the way, and it's all thanks to you! John, oh my god, I'm losing just keeps making me stronger, but I don't want to lose. I'm going to win and give all of my courage and strength. I have all the self-confidence unlike you. Here I come! <laughs> I love, you know what, the title of this episode is going to be freaking self-confidence at this point, because that's been the joke. We love with Sammy! We made a good choice! Okay, but that's literally been the, jo the joke of the entire freaking episode, is self-confidence. 
Confidence is Sammy. Confidence is... What? Sammy! Bro, you didn't need to take it that bit. Wow, okay. Bruh. Hi, Sammy. Apparently, you take things like a truck. Um, Cleffable. Does Rhonda still have superpowers? Yes. Okay, Rhonda's got the fighting type moves. Because I saved them for a reason. Thank God I did that. Because if I didn't, that would have been a little bit of a mess. Uh, but yeah, I've got a freaking... I'm going to use the superpower because it kills. Okay. Shit engine! Oh, we have no way of touching this, do we? I don't think we have a way of touching this. Oh, no. Shadow Punch. What am I thinking? I thought I used all my Shadow Punches for no reason. I'm like, no, John, you're fine. It's okay. It's fine. Oh, God. Oh, this game. Oh, we have Fire Punch, too. That's what we ran out of. Really? Astonish does that much? Why does Astonish do that much? I'm thick, though! Since when is Astonish that much damage? Astonish is 30 base power! Like, you're three levels below! Bruh, are you kidding me? Come on, Maze. We're trying to use you, and we're going to run out of hyper potions, which is a problem for right now. Can we break through confusion? Bruh, are you freaking kidding me? We're going to freaking stall out of our... On a shit ninja. On a shit ninja. Are you kidding me? This is actually ridiculous. This is ridiculous. A crit kills. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. <sighs> Thank you. Jeez, that took forever. <sighs> that should not have been that bad. But it was. Bayon Bayonet? Are you kidding me? No. I'm trapping this thing in. Corny. Girl, you better do something. You better be able to do it. It's level 51. I know you can't facade, which I even completely forgot we had facade, but you know, it's fine. Spite. That's going to take dragon. Oh, gosh. Really? Took dragon claw PP down by five. That's insane. So, like, if spite's used by a ghost type, it's better. Oh, no. It's just got a chance. It's like three, four, or five. Super Potion. Super Potion. That did a lot of recovery for a Super Potion. On it, well, I mean, I guess most Ghost types aren't thick, to be honest. So, that's fair. You're going to stall out my Dragon Claws. Watch him have a Dragon type in the back, and that's why he's freaking stalling these. That's ridiculous. That's very ridiculous. Not even gonna lie. I won't even front. That's ridiculous. Whale Lord. Whale Lord's the final mon, huh? You know what I would have wished I would have had right now for this freaking ace? Um. I guess arm and crunch it. Because I don't have my Venusaur. That would be very helpful right now, but I don't have it. No. No, 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 no. That better be Focus Punch. That better be Focus Punch. <sighs> oh, it's using... I thought that was Focus Energy for a second. I was going to say, a creating Whale Lord is not a good Whale Lord. But Focus Punch, that's fine. That's definitely fine. Thank gosh. Because that was about to be bad real quick. But... That is a very good way to cap off this episode. Next episode, we're going to be in the Elite Four. And that's definitely not scaring the bajabers out of me at all. Because, you know, I definitely don't get a freaking Pokemon killed in the middle of the Elite Four at all. Definitely not. 100% not. 
Um, either that or you definitely don't kill four mons after the Elite Four. Like, you're... Like, the timing is just impeccable. Oh, nope. But yeah, I hope you guys have a spectacular day. Love you all. And peace.